go back, Jack, do it again. I got that song stuck in my head. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Justin and today we're listening to Led Zeppelin with their song Over the Hills and Far Away off of their album Houses of the Holy released in 1973. I have no idea how the last song, the rain song, didn't get blocked on here but that's kind of cool. <laughs> Let's see if lightning strikes twice in a good way and this one doesn't get blocked as well. I mean if it is you guys know where to find it in the description above. Or oh, wait, actually below the video. <laughs> One of the coolest things about doing this channel is, you know, of course, Led Zeppelin, The Beatles. You know, all these bands I've heard of all my life. And maybe I heard, like, one song here or there, you know. I wasn't at the age, I wasn't mature enough to, like, really get it. And it wasn't really my jam, right? But how cool is it, at least now, to, like, finally discover these bands and really, really understand, like, just what made them so special? Like, I feel like I'm, I'm getting it. <laughs> I better get it by now. So it's just really cool to be able to like actually listen to them and be at the musical maturity that I'm at now to actually like understand and like, like really love it. <laughs> Let's get into the song. You guys can join me on Twitter in the comments down below. If you like, you can support the channel. Uh, but for now, let's just listen to some good music. This is Led Zeppelin with Over the Hills and Far Away.
like the ending, how the main song faded out and we were just left with a little bit of a lighter riff at the end and then it uplifts itself. I like that a lot. So first thing, uh, I'm going to make this a song review because I don't remember this song as a whole, but I've definitely heard enough parts of it that I would rather put this on the song review side rather than a first listen. Uh, the opening acoustic, uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This, I've heard that before. Definitely. Uh, when it gets into the main verse, I've heard that before as well. Those big hits, I know that. <laughs> so let's, let's just make, make sure that that's in front, that this is a song review. I just didn't know that I knew this song. This is more of a straightforward rocker from the band, but that said, it's still characteristically Led Zeppelin. Uh, Robert Plant. I mean, you gotta, I mean, well, I don't say you gotta, but his voice, I like it. <laughs> he has such a distinctive tone. Uh, in his stylings, I mean, he can go from like hard rock to blues to even something a little more jazzy. He sings very well when, with acoustic sections, so he can even move into like folk. Uh, he just has a really distinctive and variable, no, vari no, what's the, what's the adjective for variety? What's the adjective for, for variety? He has a voice uh, that can take on various tones. <laughs> I like with that acoustic riff that it starts off with. There's an interesting space left at the end of it that almost makes it feel like off, but I think that makes it just feel cool. But as it moves into the full verse and the full song, uh, you're gonna get a very, very strong rhythm section. I mean, that really nicely follows the guitar tone as well. So that's really cool, just how like musically in sync and inclined everything is. But then even within that, you get some parts that play on top of each other very samey. Like that's really cool. Jones and Bonham are really taking care of that groove, and then we're just letting uh, we're letting Jimmy Page come up with those really cool distorted guitar melodies as well. Like everything just flows together really well. Like I said, I think structurally, like this is pretty much like you know it's pretty pretty nothing really you know overly interesting going on that way, but where their interest comes in is on the way they create all the textures, the way that everything is layered, and really just the rhythm of it all. And then about halfway through, we get that ascension on the notes, and then it leads into another acoustic passage, but this time powered by that powerful rhythm section, as we mentioned before. I don't have a ton to say on this song musically, I just feel like it's a good rocker, and I mean, like, what else, <laughs> what else do you need? I mean, after, you know, listening to the last song, Rain Song, which is just like... <laughs> right? I feel like after a song like that, this is one to bring you back up to really like get your spirits lifted again uh, in preparation for the next track, which is The Crunge. Not The Grunge, but The Crunge. I have no idea what The Crunge is, but I guess we'll find out. Let's get into the lyrics here. Hey lady, you got the love I need, maybe more than enough. Oh darling, darling, walk a while with me. Oh, you've got so much, so much, so much. Many have I loved and many times been bitten. Many times I've gazed along the open road. Many times I've lied and many times I've listened. Many times I've wondered how much there is to know. Many dreams come true and some have silver linings. I live for my dream in a pocket full of gold. So he's talking about, you know, this lady and, and the open road. He's just kind of talking out loud. He's saying, you know what, you got everything that I need. You know, I've, I've been around this block before. I've, I've done this, I've done this, but baby, you got what I need. <laughs> Mello is the man who knows what he's been missing. I like that. Many, many men can't see the open road. Many is a word that only leaves you guessing. Guessing about a thing you really ought to know. He's got some sick lines here though. <laughs> really ought to know, I really ought to know. Oh, you know I should, you know I should, you know I should have known. You know I should have known that you're the one, baby. <laughs> that was a really direct and poetic way of basically saying, girl, you're it. <laughs> Anyways, let me know what you guys thought of the song. Join me on Twitter in the comments down below. Hope that your day is wonderful. Today, right now, it is rainy. It is cold. Uh, like, what? What's going on over here? <laughs> Anyways, have a fantastic day. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.